Thank you for joining me for yoga today. I'm gonna need a strap. Today we're gonna to work on the psoas, a little SI type of stuff. If you've ever had low back pain, this is probably a major player in any low back pain. So anyway, grab your strap and let's get started. Put that somewhere you can get right to it. Take a great big giant inhale, sweep the arms up, reach for the sky, look up. Let the palms come together. Exhale, bring the hands down through heart center. Just starting the practice, letting go in the morning, letting the eyes close, scooch back, let the hands open and the shoulders roll back, bring the heart forward. Just take a moment to come into the breath, let go of the rest of the day for just a little while. Breathing in and catch the breath. So as it actually assists in breathing, so it'll be fun. Breathe in. And breathe out and just come into what's going on inside your body today. What needs a little attention? What just needs a little, little stretch? So following the breath, breathing in, gently letting it go. Just enjoying a moment of stillness. Still close, bring chin down to the chest, bring the shoulders back, and the arms just rest. We're not getting to act again. Bring the chin to the chest gently. And with your next inhale, take the chin to the ceiling. Look up as if it were a bright sunny day. Looking up at the sky. On your next exhale, bring that down. Chin to chest. And on the exhale, take it back up. Looking up, notice there's anything going on in the neck. Any little crunchy spots that need a little adjusting. Gently shift the body or the neck from side to side. And then slowly bring the chin to the chest. Nice and tall, shoulders are back. Inhale, the neck goes up. Maybe rock it a little, see if anything needs moving. Exhale, bring it down, let it go. The next inhale, maybe open your eyes, maybe you don't. Bring the heart forward a little bit as the chin comes up. A little flexion of the spine. And as you bring that chest down, gently roll it back. Inhale it up, nothing fancy, we're not going anywhere. Looking up, as you look up, the heart comes forward, the back bends. And as you come down, tuck the chin around the back. One more time, looking up, great big stretch, take that chin to the sky. Inhale, exhale, bring it down and around the back. We're going to skew to a little bit farther. We're taking the stretch right down the back. This time, as you come forward, you tilt the pelvis. Imagine there's a bowl and you're sloshing it out. The pelvis comes forward, the heart comes forward, the chin gets to the chest. A little deeper back bend on that one. And then slowly and gently tuck the tail under. Pelvis goes back, back rounds, chin tucks. Much bigger movements. Inhale, take it up. Looking up at the ceiling, warm your back and higher back. Just get that pelvis moving. Roll it down. Now you're tilted forward. Tilt it. Yeah, to look up at the ceiling. Bring the heart forward, that bowl, pelvic bowl tips forward. And as you come down, the chin comes down, the back rounds. And we tilt it backwards. Just rocking it. Looking up. down, take it back, and inhale, take it up, exhale, take it back, I'm going to add on some arms, let them drift down by your side as you come forward, as you come up, scoop forward, 
reach out, following the eyes, following the hands of the eyes, reach to the ceiling. Much bigger back bend. Find those shoulder blades, take them down the back. Exhale, bring them forward. Roll it down. Exhale, sweep it up, reach for the sky. Imagine that now we should have pelvic bowl is tilting, the heart comes forward, chin goes up. As you come down, chin tucks, back rounds, pelvic touches, or tilts, there it is. Take it down, sweep it up. Great big inhale. Flexing and extending that back as you come down, a little round to get out, nice and round, and sweep it up. Take it high. Bring it forward and down and back. Hugging it under and then rolling it back up, reaching high, coming down, tucking and rounding. All right, adding on, sweep those arms up, reach for the sky. This time on the exhale, we're coming into a twist. So bring the opposite arm, one arm to the opposite knee, one arm to the back of your chair. Bring that shoulder forward, twist nice and deep. Take that chin towards the shoulder. Take the eyes towards the back of the room. And just enjoy the twist. And we come back up, forward. One more time, sweep the arms up. Tilt the heart, tilt the back, tilt the pelvis. Exhale, roll it down, take it back. Take the arms up. Sweep them up this time, use your twist. Take it over, bring the shoulders over. And round it out. Looking back behind you, bring that chin towards the shoulder. Eyes as far as look up. Eyes and muscles too. Bring it forward and set it down. Scooching forward on the chair, just a little bit of circling here. Bring the heart forward. Now think about where your tush is. So we're rolling out. Oh, the pelvic bowl tilted. Roll it to the side and bring it forward. So that tilting we just did, we're adding that in as we work our way down. Coming over and forward. So these muscles in this general area, the psoas especially, start the lower part of the back at L5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. There's all kinds of nerves. If you've got any low back pain, or sciatica, or there's a series of muscles, or nerves that go down through there, ending up in the calves. Series, and it, you'll know it if there's something wrong. If we sit a lot, it's always a great idea to stretch this area. And it doesn't get quite the attention it deserves. So bring it in, heart forward, tail back. Roll it back, and around. Next time you come forward, Take a pause, and we're going to go in the opposite direction. So rolling back, take it over, just getting everything warmed up, around, and come forward. Come off to one side, tilt down under, and then dump it forward. Slash it around to the side, roll it under, and pull it forward two more. Take it over, and around. this time when you come forward we're scooching up slide the hands down the legs and push now tuck the top tail under bring the belly button to the spine you'll feel it as you engage and pull back pelvis wants to turn push those feet down and now try and lift one leg a little active resistance but it works right in that area that we're trying to strengthen trying to loosen coming forward just rock it a little bit rolling that pelvis in and out Push down with that hand and try and lift up at the same time you feel it. There it is. Find it. Give it a good stretch. And forward. We're one more time on each side. So rock it on. Forward and back. Push down and then push up. Maybe pick that foot up. You can lift that belly button to the spine. Set it down. Roll it forward and back. And push down and up at the same time. The stomach, or belly button to the spine. Push it in, feel it come in. And set it down. Very good rock. There it is. Nice. All right, take 
take one leg over to one side, choose your favorite side. We'll do both. Scoot you down, just let that leg drop off. All part of the, the psoas, iliacus, all these are part of the hip flexor series. So find that place that's comfortable and just let that leg drop. You're gonna need your strap here in a minute, but just give it a minute. No real action going on, just let it hang out. Done a lot for it. Check and see where your tail is. Nice and level on the chair. Grab a strap. This is a fancy one. You can put all kinds of fancy things in this one. It's a little overcomplicated. You can grab a pillowcase if that's easier for you. So bring that thigh up. So we're just bringing it up. Tap. Knees pointing towards the floor. A little tight. Just working the hand or quads here. So this is just scratching the quads out. We're still working on leaving those open hip flexors. Find that comfortable place where the hip is level. And here's where we get the hip flexors nice and deep. So bring that knee a little bit forward and then bring it back and see if you can push that back as far as it'll go. Put the strap there to help you. Some people find it easier to go over the shoulder. Find the waist place that works for you. It's a little deep. You don't need to bring the um, thigh quad any the heels. <laughs> don't need to bring the heels of the tail as much as you want to push that knee back. So this is fine. I'm still getting it deep in my psoas, even if I leave it down. But find that place that works for your body. Give the breathing. And one more time. Kick it back. Give it a good stretch. And then come back to center. Let that go. Take it center. Slide it over. Keep your strap right here. Knees are nice and wide, almost as wide as a chair. You're gonna take your favorite arm up and over. These muscles in the hip flexor series also help with lateral bending. Take it over, we're gonna stretch it out, and we're gonna work it in a different direction. Coming over, reaching up the other direction, follow the hand with the eyes. Look it up, take a nice side bend. So we're going to bring it down. Just let that go down. I'm going to slide the, the legs wide. I'm going to tilt the tail back and lean down. Heart comes down first. Belly button goes to the floor. Bring it down and then relax into your forward fold. Find the place that's comfortable if you can reach the floor. Walk the hands out a little bit. Just lengthen out. A little traction for the back. Stretch that out too. If not, just find that perfect place. All of it's good. And then come on back up. Let's take the right arm, or yeah, right arm to right shoulder knee. Coming across on that diagonal. Stretch it out on this lateral bend again. Bring the belly button to the thigh. And then coming up over. Sliding over past center to the other side. And coming down. Now we feel that stretch right out. Come on back up. Scoot a little bit forward. Just drop the knees from side to side. The end of the psoas is on the back side of the femur and helps with abduction and flexion and extension of that hip. <laughs> Opening and closing. Coming in. Round it off. We're on the other side. There we go. Just pivoting. Drop that knee down. So one knee goes to the floor. Staying steady on the chair. Got the back for your support. Just give that hip flexor a chance to work its way open. Grab your strap. Swing it around. And bring it up with the knee at the floor. Find the place where that foot goes. Just drop it down. Knee to the floor. Giving the thigh a good stretch. And then bring the knee forward. And take the knee back as far as it'll go. You're welcome to bring the strap over or under. Take the knee back. So the length of the space. Keeping that angle. Knee goes back. And release it. Bring it forward. 
tilt the tail under, make sure that we're releasing the psoas, and then open, pull that knee back. Now we're stretching it. Now it's talking to us. Your low back is starting to, to kink up on this. Give it a little time. Don't stretch as far. You don't want it. There's so many nerves in there, you don't want to push it. So bring it forward and set it down. Stay in that area that's comfortable for you. So let me down, slide it over. Let's just drop that off. Set that back there for a minute. Right. And just wiggle it out. If there's anything jamming up in that low back, little circles. All right, grab your favorite leg, bring it in. No good psoas workout is complete without a pigeon. So bring the ankle to the knee, flex your foot, inhale and let's lay down over the knee. Find a little space. If that's uncomfortable, less pressure, just pull one, just put your elbow on your knee. Cause you don't want me jamming it down or anything. Just gently give it a little space. <laughs> Take it over and then bring it back up. Bring it in, slide it on across and take a twist. Straightening out nice and tall, lengthening the back, looking behind. And back to center. Slide that off and just rock the knees from side to side so that they go in. Out, work it across the back, take it in, and out, and come on over to the other side. Bring it in, take your second leg, ankle to knee, bring the or flex the toes, and find your forward fold over that leg. Back off if there's any pressure in the knee, but you should feel this a little bit in the tail. So coming in, laying it down, and then come on up and slide it over. Take the opposite arm over that leg and take the twist. Being gentle, a lot going on in all that area. So come back to center. Wiggle it out, see what feels good, what doesn't. We're gonna take it to standing, so we're gonna take it behind the chair. So come on up. Grab your strap. Just have it handy. So finding that first spot, so bring that toe in as if you're going in a tree. We'll get there, don't rush. You take that leg and push it out. So it's pushing back, keep the pelvis forward, but the knee goes back. So stretching across here, feel the abductors, and then bring it in and come across, loosening up the outside of the hip, and then take it open again. Take it out, tuck the tail, push it out as far as you can feel it go. Nice, and release it, and find your tree. Maybe it's high or low today, you decide. Whatever feels best. Whatever your balance is going to let you go. Tuck the tail under. Roll the shoulders back. And let's sweep the arms up. Again, reaching for the sky. If this isn't easy, look up at the ceiling. If it's not, pick one spot and look directly at that. That one focal point will keep your mind from wandering and keep your balance a little straighter. Just don't look down. Just sweep it up. <laughs> Reach for the ceiling. And then lower it down. Can't go wrong with the tree pose. Bring it in, set that down. Tap it out, in the chair. Walk the feet back, little down dog. So coming back just about as far as you need to go to get your arms straight. We're gonna put this stretch into the legs and uh, into the legs. Anyway, so coming down, hands head between the shoulder, arms. So you got a little weight coming into the shoulders. If you've got heavy shoulders, if not, doesn't matter, we're going for the legs. So we're stretching the legs, we're pushing it back. Bend one knee and let that hip move. 
a little bit, tilting it out. Say good morning to your hamstrings. On the next exhale, bend the opposite knee. Push it back. If you've got happy shoulders, you can drop the head down. Look at the toes. And come up. It's a great stretch for the underarm area. Lots going on there, a lot of shoulders jam up. And change again. Take it over. And back. All right, scoot it in a little bit. We're gonna take one step in. Move it out. <laughs> take one knee up. And we're gonna kick it straight out and down. So now you've got that leg long. And extending. Both toes pointed at the floor. Not in the plant. Just try to keep the hips level. And find that balance right there. Got the chair. So nothing to worry about. Bring it in. Take it up. Stretch out the back. Stretch out the front. Keep that leg back. Enjoy that balance. And bring it in. And last one, kick it back. Take it in. And nice and slow, bring it back in. Set it down, we're gonna take this a little bit wide. Count in that pose and then we'll do the other side. So legs are wide, toes are pointing forward. Wide-legged squat right here, right? Slide on down the back of the chair. Just try and keep the hips, or yeah. Come on down to the point that's comfortable for you. Find that space. And then slowly come back up. We're gonna do three. So bring it back up nice and slow. Take it down. And back up. And last one coming down. And back up. There we go. Walk the feet in. Alright. Back to that other side. Come into tree first. So we're tucking the tail, or tucking the toe. <laughs> bring that in. Bring that hip across. First time we'll go across. And then we'll roll it open. Take it out. The hips facing forward. We're not rolling the body. We're rolling right here in the hip joint. So take that leg wide. And then bring it across. And then take it wide. Take it out. Push it back. Really give it some effort with some energy. And then bring it in. And out. Nice. So we're not just pivoting, we're pushing. There's some energy going there. Okay, take your favorite tree. Coming up. Find that spot. Check your balance. Roll your shoulders back. And bring it up. Make the arms up. Inhale, low. <laughs> See? I'm too much coffee this morning. Exhale, roll it down. And so we put back up, reach for the sky. Find it what works for you. If you fall out, that's even more work. It's excellent. Just get right back in. All right, set that knee down. Let it go. And let's turn to do the kickbacks. I'm going to flip the chair, just so you can see. So we're going to scooch back. The feet flat on the floor. Bring that knee up. Kick it back. Point the toes at the floor. Try and keep the hip level. Most people want to lift it open. Keep it straight back. Point the toes. Energize that leg. Bring it in and up. And kick it back. And bring it in. Last one. There it is. Bring it in and back. Point the toes at the floor. Set that foot down. Wiggle it out. Just paddle the feet a little. Walk <laughs> back to the chair. Let's take it back. Sitting back down. Perfect. Right, scooching a little bit forward. Sweep it up for some nice lateral bends. Inhale, reach for the sky, look up to the ceiling, push your arms away, find the stretch right there. Lifting up out of that hip, 
and then pick your favorite side. Look up under the arm. Pull in, you can stretch. We're going to pause a second. And then lift. And reach to the other side. Pushing away so you can lift out of there. Yeah. And come back to center. One more time on each side. So give your arms a break. It can be a lot. So reaching up and leaning over. Look up under the arm. Work the eyes. And then come on back up. And then take it up to the other side. And sweep the arms down. Take them over. This time, take the arms back. We're going to scoot them back. So you can take the back of the chair here. Just going to round the tail like we did when we started, only this time we're going to stretch the arms and shoulders while we're here. Avoid that rounding. So we want to bring the heart forward. The shoulder blades together as best you can. Look up at the ceiling and there's a really nice back bend. And then round it down. Just roll it out and then round it back up. Take it to the sky. Looking up. Enjoying that stretch. You should feel it right across the arms, mostly. <laughs> and up. And down. And one more. Take it in. And back. Shoulder blades come together in the back. Roll those shoulders open. Feel it across the chest. And let it go. Sliding forward. And just rock it side to side. Begin to notice what feels good, what feels different. Just keep rocking it, letting it go, go side to side. Perfect. Scooching back. Ah, halfway back. We're gonna do a little forward fold. And then come up. Take it all the way back. Leave your hands on the knees. Take it back, touch the chair, back in the chair. So kind of a mini back bend, and then a mini for, a full forward fold. Opening up that low back, and then coming up forward. Tilt the pelvis under, and round the back, round the chin, where I was going on that one. Tuck the chin, round the back, extend that. Sweet. All right, inhale. Reaching for the ceiling, Bring the hands together and let the hands come down to your heart center. Let the eyes close. Scooching back in the chair, finding a comfortable moment. Right back where we started, sitting up nice and tall. The back against the back of the chair so you can feel it. The eyes closed. Check in real quick. What feels good? It feels like it needs a little wobbling or a little wiggling. And do it. Give your body what it needs. Just a little rocking. And come into the breath. Finding that exhale. Taking it a little longer. Making your inhale a little longer. As so we slow back down. Coming into the stillness. Right back to the beginning. So take a moment to find some gratitude, some things that just make you happy. Find your smile. Enjoy the beautiful things in your life. Just watching the breath, feeling the smile. And on the next exhale, let the arms drip down. Sweep them up to close the practice. Great big reaching. Hands come together, heart center, bring it down. And thank you for joining me.
Have a great day.